welcome to Perfect Pitch. This episode is a short heads up on West Ham United Birmingham Sunday match. So, a lot to talk about, but we get through it quick. But of course, you don't want to hear from me. You want to hear from our expert, Ali. Ali, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited for Sunday. I think it's going to be a bit of a cracker. Yep, yep. We need consistency now as well after the, the, the Man City match as well to prove it just wasn't the one off and City wasn't just having a bad day but that'd be the next episode that's, that's coming up shortly. Story. Yeah. Yeah. So look, uh it's a for Birmingham, it's a different squad from uh last year obviously with uh Carla Ward was at the helm. You know, I mean Emily over from Man United as well was even allowed to play uh, against Man United even though she's on loan. So what's your take on Birmingham? Al what do you think is gonna happen this weekend? They haven't had the best of starts. They are currently um, zero for four. Um, they've had some tough matches. I'm not going to lie, like Man United was a, a tough one. I do think fair play to Mark Skinner for letting Emily play against yeah. Man United because he could have turned around and went no. And they do have a good um, goalie in Marie if he'd said that. So I think they've had a rough start. But they just haven't got the players. Yeah. They haven't got their players. So um, it's a brand new squad pretty much everybody thing um they've got a couple of key players but it's 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 going to be tough for them i know last season we beat them and drew with them they haven't got their machine this season because we've got her because cordial walker made the difference against us last season against birmingham and so she's now in the right colors (laughs) yeah she's making a difference here that's for sure really making her presence known up front it's really nice to have an out and out striker as well on the squad right yeah so look, can we have a little look at one of the charts? <laughs> yeah, look at my little graphics. Um, so the two key players I think are going to be trouble with their defenders in Quinn and Scott. So that's Louise Quinn and uh, Harriet Scott. They are Harriet is a stalwart at Birmingham. She's been at Birmingham for a while. Louise is an is a new old player. She used to play for Birmingham, then played for Arsenal. Was at Florentina with our very own Tess Midag last season we love Tessel and then has come back to the WSL with Birmingham now she is a quality player she has played in Champions League she has mm. things so she is going to be a tough defender but it's really just the two of them they've sort of got the two at the back which um is where mm. I think our wingers are going to be yeah. key I think if we have Tamika holding up play in the middle and we've got Sfix Kovo running down one side because we saw she was fully fit yeah. um, after the Manchester City game and had an absolute cracker of a game and then we've got either Yui down the other side or if Lisa's back which I believe she is available for selection we have Lisa down the back and then we can pin those defenders back and then we've got Tamika we've got um, Yui we've got Dagny all in the middle and that's where the goals are going to come from because you can ping it to Leon, you can ping it to Walker. Let's have a quick chat about Mac though, because obviously, yeah, the opposite end. Mac saved us. I mean, there was a lot of shots from Man City last. There was on target. They had seven on target, and they had twenty shots at goal. So yeah. Mac saved a good few. Let's go yeah. into Mac the saved six. Let's get yeah. that right. <laughs> Out of the shots on target, yeah. they had seven on target. Yeah. Mac saved six, and the other one was an offside goal. That's so right. Mac was on fire last yeah. weekend. There's yeah. um, and we'll talk about it more in the Man City thing. But there was one where she got pinged, oh. and she punched it out, and then it came back at her, and she hit it with her feet. Yeah. And it was just a beautiful thing to see, and I think defensively we are the strongest we've ever been yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. and we've not even got some of our best defenders in yet because Grace is still injured um, yeah. Lois is only coming in um, for 30 minutes here 30 minutes there but we have got you know Cisco we have got Jill we've got Kate who's fallen back into a back yeah. position I think it's really suiting her it I think... really is I'm shocked yeah it really is yeah I mean yeah. she's always been a defensive midfielder but she's slotting back in that yeah. um like centre back left back yeah. position and it's working out well and we have become a fortress at the back which we haven't been for a very very long time it's a we're beautiful a thing we're a team yeah. we're, look at the way mac ran out from the goal all the way oh, down 
when again this needs to be another conversation yeah. but look as you say uh birmingham you do sort of feel from because they haven't got a squad they haven't got the team they've got no depth really at the moment but so if there was someone to watch who would you say Al? really out of all of them out of all of them, the youngster Lily Simpkin. Um, she's another player that's been pl- with them for a, a while, and yeah. she's an up and comer. She is another Grace Fisk like we've got. She's a youngster that I think is definitely on the rise. Is going to crack mm-hmm. into the national squad soon. Mm-hmm. Um, she's been playing for the unders, and she's going to um, crack in. Um, I think so. If you're going to watch a Birmingham player, then you're going to hope that they've got Lily on there, yeah. and she's going to be someone to watch. Great stuff. Oh, and Lisa's back for us as well, isn't she, apparently? Yes. So uh, that's going to be a great thing. So let's go to the score and then uh, have a hit. Come on, <laughs> Al, what do you reckon? It's your turn this week to go first. It is my turn for it. I have full faith in Mac and I think it's going to be a, a clean sheet again. And I think we're going to do them like we did Leicester and it's going to be 4-0. I got, I've got here three nil, and I wrote it down. It's like one of the quiz shows when you have to put <laughs> it up just to make sure. But I've got three nil down there, so yeah. So Ali, thanks as always. I'll be seeing you at the match Absolutely. on Sunday. Can't wait for that one. Um, any Birmingham supporters as well want to come and say hi? Come and say hi. We can even have a chat and do a little live podcast if you like. Actually, uh, at the ground, if you want to, give us a little ping. Thanks for looking in. And uh, catch you again next time. Cheers, Al. Bye. Bye.